Good morning, everyone. I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me. I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News, and I want to welcome all the new subscribers. At 6.01 Pacific Standard Time, there was a magnitude 3.7 earthquake along the San Andreas Fault by Parkfield, California. Here's the seismic signature. Yeah, it's like, wow. Look at the energy that came up. And we'll look at the seismic signature. This is an area um, along the San Andreas Fault where it's locked and pressure builds up. This is the location of the 3.7. Um, energy has been transferred going towards the west, which is interesting because the earthquake that they had in 2004 um, energy was transferred to um, Paso Robles and there was an earthquake swarm after that uh, 2004 earthquake I believe it was this area is closely watched uh, for earthquakes they have um, large earthquakes every oh about every 20 24 years um, in this location. Here in the Wikipedia page, it talks about an average of every 22 years. Um, they have interval large earthquakes between 12 and 32 years with an average of every 22 years. The last significant earthquake occurred on September 28, 2004. The largest earthquake was in 1857, uh, Fort Tijon earthquake. Uh, that was a magnitude 8.0, but then they said it was later a, um, a magnitude uh, 7.9. That's the location of the 2004 earthquake, not far from today's 3.7. USGS gave it an intensity level of 5. Um, San Miguel, intensity level 5, then a little bit farther south was intensity level 4. The farthest report they got is down by San Luis Obispo. Uh, what do we got here? Los Oso. They did send out a shake alert. You can see here, first wave of the earthquake kind of towards the uh, north area. Um, tension was applied going west. Yeah, maybe a little bit southwest. So because of that 2004 the aftershocks and tension was applied going down over here. I expect the same thing to probably happen. Um, we're going to have some more earthquakes in this location. So intensity level 5 means it was felt by most people in that location. To them it felt like a 3.5, maybe up to a 4. There would have been some breakage. What kind of damage did you have? Windows, uh, dishes, cracks in your plaster. Tall objects fell over. What did the earthquake wave feel like to you? Those of, um, that like to read the comments here in our community, they would really like to know. So put that information down below, please. EMSC said it was a magnitude 3.9. Um, one report was sent in to them, said it was a short earthquake, heard it, felt it, uh, just a small, small back and forth motion. That report came from Ascatero. So that was about 31 miles southwest or 50 kilometers. So going to Google Earth, where is that at? Okay, yeah, that would be um, southwest right there. Felt report sent into USGS is now up to 105. Peak intensity for the shake alert. Uh, would have been a 4.0. Let me bring this over. Let's see. Where was the shake felt report? Or actually the uh, um, alert messages sent out to. Did you get an alert sent to your uh, cell phones? We are in that time frame where there could be a large earthquake in this location once again. I would like to know if your pets were acting strange before this earthquake. Yeah, I would like to know that also. And how long did the earthquake shaking last? Yeah, let me know about that too. Thank you very much for watching. 
please like, share, and subscribe. Maybe we'll get some more information if you share the video. Uh, please stay safe, and I will talk to you later. God bless y'all. Bye. Thank you.